Hello everybody, welcome back to our virtual classroom and another lesson in our trades training video series. I'm Joe Carswell and this session is all about the tools and materials used for window installation. So let's get right into it. We are really trying to grow this channel and the best way for that to happen is for you, the viewer, to subscribe. Also, if you learn something from these videos, don't forget to click like. So thanks for your support. Let's get back into the lesson. Let's start with our materials. And my first material is the one that's already installed on my demo wall. This is a thin plastic film we call house wrap. You'll see this installed. It's a weatherproofing for the building. We'll get more into that later in the installation process. So that's material number one. I also have some tape. This is a house wrap tape. It's a special tape that sticks to the house wrap. We'll actually expect it to stick to our framing as well. And not just any tape will do. You cannot substitute duct tape or packing tape for this. This is a special formulated tape. My next tape is a very specialized tape. We call this flashing tape. And this is a six inch flashing tape. It has a plastic film on the outside and then it's backed with a really sticky, gummy uh, material called bitumen. It's black, sort of a tar substance. This stuff will stick like nobody's business and we have to pressure apply it. With that pressure, it's going to stick very well. This will be our waterproofing for a lot of our window. So this is a very important material to use. It comes in different thicknesses. I mentioned we're using a six inch today and different window manufacturers will call out different thicknesses. Next up, I have shims. These are special shims. They are composite shims. This means they have plastic in them and they are moisture resistant. A shim is made like a wedge. So you have a thick side and then you have a thin side. It tapers from one end to the other. Most of the time we're using shims in pairs. And if we turn them uh, opposing directions and put them together, we get a flat surface on the top and a flat surface on the bottom that are parallel to each other. No matter how we adjust or move these shims, we can raise this space between them, the top and the bottom, but we also keep that parallel situation. So our shims will help us with our window installation to uh, support the window at the bottom and also to adjust the window on the sides. Next, I have my caulk, and this is a high-grade silicon caulk made for door and window installation. I happen to pick a gray color so we can see it better during the installation. We'll also need a caulk gun to make this work. I have my fasteners, and we have to mechanically fasten this window to our wall when we're putting it in the rough opening. We need a lot of fasteners, and I recommend a truss head screw. This is a wide screw that has a piercing tip on it. It will go through the flange in pre-punched holes and hold that flange tight to the wall to make a waterproof seal. My last material is my foam. This is a minimal expanding foam. It has, it's a pressurized can. There's polyurethane foam in here and it has a nozzle, a, a very small nozzle that the foam will come out of. The purpose for our uh, minimal expanding foam is to fill gaps between the rough opening and the window once it's installed. This will help keep air and moisture out from the outside traveling through to the inside. That foam uh, will only expand this much. So this is a sample of that foam that came out of this can and this is fully cured. So what you don't want to use is a foam that a high pressure foam or a latex foam these can swell too much and they can cause pressure on the window and uh, they will cause the frame of that window to change shape it could have it could cause you problems with making that window operate so let's move on to our tools that we need to get this job done i'll start with my tape measure this is our uh, precision tool to measure things. And we not only need to measure the materials that we're going to be applying, we also need to check our rough opening in our window to make sure they're the right size. So a tape measure is a very important tool. Another measuring device we need is a level. 
This will help us check the condition of the rough opening and help us level the window. It works much better if we find that window, set it at level, and we also check for our plumb. It might be that you need a hammer. This could be to drive fasteners, possibly nails instead of screws, or to pull a fastener while you're installing the window. Our caulk gun, as I mentioned before, we will need to deliver our caulk onto the rough opening to seal it between the window and the wall. A utility knife is a very important tool to use for cutting a lot of these materials. And lastly, I have my cordless drill. This is my tool of choice for installing our truss head screws. Make sure that you have the right tip. This is a number two Phillips that matches my fasteners. And my last tool is a specialized tool for window installation. This is a pressure roller. We're going to use this to add pressure to our flashing tape. This will adhere it. It needs that pressure to stick to whatever material that you're trying to apply it to. So that's all of the tools and materials other than the window itself that we need. And we will take all of these, put them together in our next lesson and do a full step-by-step -step installation process. So I'll see you in the next video. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.